We come on the air this Friday evening with an incredible increase in the number of COVID-19 cases diagnosed in just the past 24 hours. The number of new cases reported today is 2,075, a number we haven't seen since the spring. And Governor Jim Justice and his COVID-19 task force believe we haven't even seen the worst of it yet. The Greenbrier County Health Department called an emergency meeting this morning. Newswatch reporter Catherine Skeldon was there and joins me now live in studio. Catherine, what came out of that meeting? Earlier today, the Greenbrier County Health Department held an emergency press conference regarding the over 2,000 new, newly confirmed COVID-19 cases in West Virginia and with some hospitals in the state and throughout the country reaching full capacity. Health officials fear there will not be enough beds, staff, or resources to accommodate COVID or non-COVID patients coming in. This is not propaganda, fear tactics, or politics. This is actual data from a health crisis. Dr. Bridget Morrison, the health officer of Greenbrier County, urgently reiterates outside the doors of the Greenbrier County Health Department during an emergency press conference about the ever-increasing numbers of COVID-19. I come to you today as essentially a desperate plea for our community, for our healthcare workers. We have been in the red for weeks and weeks now. Um, our daily infection rate and our percent positivity has just continued to climb. With the recently confirmed nearly 2,000 new COVID cases in West Virginia, along with hospitals everywhere filling up to full capacity, the Greenbrier County Health Department and the Greenbrier County Commission held the emergency conference to desperately urge people to wear masks and get the vaccine as soon as possible. Dr. Marsh at WVU, who's our COVID czar in West Virginia, tells that a mask gives you 40% protection. But what's even better is a vaccine. A vaccine can give you 80% protection. And with new cases rising every day, health officials fear the worst. A lack of beds, staff, and resources in hospitals to accommodate COVID and non-COVID patients alike. If our hospital is at capacity, and you take out COVID and you have other medical emergencies or some sort of trauma, there might not be any beds. There might not be any beds or there might not be enough providers. And that's not just here locally, that's regionally, that's statewide, that's nationwide. The rate of hospitalization has now surpassed what it was last fall in winter. Reporting live in studio, Katherine Skeldon, Newswatch. Back over to you, Samantha. Katherine, thank you.